What's up guys, in this video we'll be looking at a full breakdown of the Camera Plus mod, how to download it, going over its features, and how to make the camera move on its own. Make sure to have Mod Assistant downloaded before proceeding, a link will be in the description or on the upper right hand if you need to install it. This mod doesn't affect what you see in your headset, but only the window viewer on your monitor, so this will be perfect for recording gameplays. Anyways, let's get into it. Open up Mod Assistant and from there go into Mods, check mark Camera Plus, and click Install or Update. Once that is done, open up Beat Saber. Make sure to have Smooth Camera off in your game settings to prevent issues. With your mouse cursor, hover over to the window that your Beat Saber game is on and right click on it. This will open the profile menu. Here is where you will set up your cameras. Add new camera will create a camera. Grab the edges and it will change its size or grab anywhere in the middle to move it around. You can create multiple cameras and place them anywhere you want. It's also good to note that right clicking on a targeted camera window will open the profile menu where all the changes will only affect that specific camera not the others. To get rid of the camera, pick Remove Selected Camera. If you have a specific camera you would like to copy, then click on Duplicate Selected Camera. There are three modes of view currently. First person, third person, and 360 third person, which if you play on a 90 or 360 degree map level, the camera will follow the direction of the incoming boxes instead of it being static. If you want a more steady view in your recordings, you can pick Force Camera Upright, which will lock rotation of the first person camera on the Z axis to keep the camera upright. Or click it again if you want it off. Solid walls will keep the walls solid in your recordings, but if you enable transparent walls, they will be see-through, which is great if you don't want your viewers to be blocked from seeing you in your gameplay recordings. You can either hide or show your avatar when you're recording whenever the custom avatar mod is back and running again. Next we have the option to hide or show the UI. While having a created camera active as third person, you'll see in the game that you can grab and reposition the camera in a different location whether by rotating or moving the controller and using the analog stick to push or pull. If you don't see it, you can enable it by clicking the Show or Hide Third Person Camera button. Then we have the Debris button with three modes. Force Display meaning the debris will show, Non Display meaning debris not showing, and Linked In Game is the linkage between the in game settings. Profile Saver will enable you to save multiple scenes that you can load and switch with different camera setups. Once you have a setup you like, you can come here and click save. Press the right arrow and you will see the currently selected profile. Don't worry about saving over it if you make changes because it will always make a new profile. I'm not a fan of the default name it gives so let's go to Mod Assistant, Options, Open Folder, Into User Data, Dot Camera Plus, and Profiles where you can find those files and rename them. You can also delete them in there if the delete button doesn't work in the profile saver menu. You can cycle through your profiles and load select the one you want. Turning scene change on will give you the ability to select a saved profile scene to be showing up whenever in the menu section of the game and a game scene which will be your second choice of your profile scene. Essentially, I can have first person view when I'm in the menu and when I play a song you'll see in your recordings that it switches to another scene, which will be the game scene. This can be useful for content creators or streamers. In layout, you can mess with the field of view, making it more expansive or shorter. Render scale can be left at 1 because if you make it lower, the render looks blurry 
and a higher number will improve the quality a bit, but it will slow down the game as well. Bit to Canvas will take the viewer you selected and will cover everything and supposedly make making it not fit to the canvas, it should revert back. But it hasn't done that. May, might be a glitch, so I just remove it. For more manual control, you can mess with the XYZ position and XYZ rotation for some camera fine tuning. And amount movement and rotation, I didn't see anything with those, so I didn't touch them. Same thing with the layer. Also, I am super glad to see that they got rid of the 38 spawn camera as that was just not necessary at all. No one will watch your 38 camera angle beat saver gameplay, trust me. To get the camera to move, you will need to prep a few things. One, take note of the camera viewer you want it to work on, as well as the profile scene you are in if you save many of them. Next, enable script sync unity in the profile menu of that camera. Going back to mod assistant, to open folders, user data, camera plus folder, and scripts. There will be an example movement script, which if you open it, you will see that there's already inputs. We will be utilizing this script. I will post up a snapshot that will describe what each part of this script means in which you can pause the video to look at it. To activate the script, we need to enable it within the config file of the camera viewer we chose by going back into dot camera plus folder, then profiles folder, picking the scene and camera you chose where the script will run. Open it and at the very bottom where the movement script path is, you will paste the file path of where the script you want to be enabled is located between the quotations. Make sure to save it. Now play a song which I recommend playing one that has a light show within its difficulty settings. I'm using the song Contradiction which is the opening theme for the God of High School mapped by Joe Tastic. The link is down below. I play it, then I take off my headset and now I can view the camera movement happening on my monitor. But let's say you want to create your own, well you can copy and paste that script rename it, and put in your own number values. Unfortunately, there isn't a way to view the results unless you enable it like how I showed you before and just watching it play out in a song that has light show mode. I'll maybe play with it and add my own number values to share and upload on my Discord channel. Very few people know how to do this, but if anyone who has done it before wants to share their scripts, reach out to me through my social links. Thank you guys for making it through this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your boy D Legionnaire, signing out. Peace.